Hi! I told you in my last vlog that I was going to pick up my camera when the mood strikes me and just vlog randomly, which is what's happening right now. Don't know why, just felt like it, felt like chatting with you, spending the weekend with you because it is a Friday night, it's almost 6.30, and as you can see, it's a wild Friday night for me because I'm still at work, working overtime on a Friday night. I guess it worked out because I won't be seeing James this weekend, which is disappointing. This vlog's going to start off a little bit on a down note, a little bit negative for Aaron, but I'll get it out of the way, and then we can be positive, happy after that. At the beginning of the week, my aunt got sick. My aunt was supposed to come and visit and be with me starting tomorrow, but she got sick. James family and he got sick and I was sick not all with the same things but we all got sick at the same time somehow I've had kind of a crummy week not feeling well and when you're not feeling well it can already kind of make you feel down because you can't do anything for me I can't feel productive and it's just a little bit lonely even though I know I'm not alone when you're not feeling well and you're alone at that time, it feels lonely because, well, you're already feeling down and you don't have anybody to keep you com com don't have anyone to keep you company. Of course I have Duncan, but I've also tried to keep my distance as much as I can because I don't want to get him sick, which I know might sound like a weird crazy thing, but it is possible. It's been kind of a downer week and I'm determined to make the weekend better. Don't know yet exactly what I'll be doing. I have things that I need to get done that I didn't get done last weekend because I wasn't feeling well, but it's really going to depend on my energy levels because I don't want to overdo things and set back any progress that I've made. So we will see how I feel when I wake up tomorrow. But I think it's also supposed to be nice out and it's kind of peak foliage time so I might want to go for a walk and just kind of take in nature and fresh air and look at the pretty scenery but we will see how I feel and what the day brings because I also need to start changing out clothes as the seasons are changing here so to be determined then tomorrow evening since I can't see James and we only see each other on the weekends and I already miss him, we're going to have a virtual date. So even though we can't be together in person because he's still kind of recovering and we don't want to get each other sick all over again, so we're going to have a virtual date so we can still see each other, still spend time together, but not get anyone sick. So that's the plan. And even though I'm feeling lonely, I get to spend the weekend with you, which always makes me happy because I consider you my friends and I love hanging out with my friends. So that will be good. But that's all I have to say for right now. I hope you're all staying healthy because there's definitely stuff going around. So take care of yourselves and I'll see you tomorrow, unless anything happens when I get home, but I have a feeling it won't be that exciting. But, see you then! This is interesting. I finally put in my new car mount that I've had for nearly a year and haven't put up, but I'm not sure I've got it set up correctly. Right now I'm currently recording upside down, which I'll be able to flip in editing, but I don't think it's supposed to be that way. But I don't know, I'm not very good with these things. So, because I tried it one way and it seemed backwards. So now I'm trying it the other way and I don't know. But it's a start. And it is Saturday morning, but 
about to be afternoon or noon. I got a little bit of a later start than I had planned this morning because I don't know, I was just leisurely and things took longer than I was expecting. Right now I am going to the rail trail to go for a walk because it is a very beautiful day out and I've got to take advantage of these days while they are still here before old man winter sets in and it's warmer than I was expecting so I'm hope, hoping I don't get too hot out on the trail although it's shadier there so it should be fine but yes gonna get out and breathe in some fresh air in my lungs enjoy this beautiful day then I had the fun task of going to storage to start changing out my clothes because I didn't get to do it last weekend since I wasn't feeling well and I'm gonna take it easy don't want to overdo it but I at least want to get a start on it so I'll show you a little of my view along the way hopefully some of that pretty foliage is still out hopefully my camera mount will work and I'll see you on the trail oh wait one other thing I wanted to tell you so I'm making a goal today to drink a lot of water here we are almost halfway through well midday and I haven't taken a sip but I'm gonna have a tracker today and we're gonna track how much water I drink because I don't do a good enough job with this and I really haven't been lately as much as I think I'm like oh I've drinking plenty throughout the day I get home at night and realize no I really haven't so my goal is to at the minimum drink two of these which you would think would be simple probably is for most people but for me I barely get through one of these in, in a day, which I know is not good. So I'm going to try and get through minimum two today. So let's get started because right now we're at zero ounces because coffee doesn't count. And now I will see you on the trail. the trail with me today. I appreciate your company. It's the perfect day to be out for a walk and look at the beautiful foliage. I think it's pretty close to peak. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but a lot of it also got knocked down because of rain and wind the last couple of days. I do my best every year to get out and enjoy it while I can, not take it for granted. I don't usually go up north where it's really noticeable but it's also crowded with lots and lots of people so I think that would make it less enjoyable because you're having to bump elbows with the tourists and other people who want to check it out which is understandable I understand why they want to check it out and it's nice that they come and visit but I don't really want to deal with crowds so I don't often go to that area even though I feel like I should more but the end of the trail was closed, even though that was basically the end anyways, and I was gonna turn around regardless. So I'm headed back now. Walked for a little under half an hour and I'll take you along for my walk what I can on the way back. And we'll see how many steps I get when I get back to the car.
first things first, hydrate. Now let's see how many steps I got. Oh, decent. Not as much as I'd like, but decent. Because I started at around 1,000. I'm now at 6,540. So I did about 5,500-ish steps. Which is much better than I do on a typical day, sadly. But would be nice if I could hit that 10,000 for a change. We'll see. Now I'm going to have a quick little snack. Continue to hydrate. Then it's off to storage. I'm home now, got my buckets I needed from storage, but I walk today, which is the most exercise I've done in over a week. And now I'm gonna be doing changing out clothes, which can take some effort. So I decided to treat myself and get a pumpkin cream cold brew. I know, I know. I still need to keep drinking water though too. And I got some hash browns, cause they're my fave, and a pumpkin muffin. And both were free because I had a reward and Duncan's rewards have changed, which I don't know how I feel about. I feel like it's not as good for some reason. But I got the hash browns free and then they were having a deal. Buy a drink, I think a medium drink. Get a free muffin. So I got a pumpkin muffin as well. So I'm going to have a little lunch. Enjoy that. Then head back out to the car to get the buckets and get going on changing out the clothes. But seeing as it's now basically two o'clock. I think this is going to be a two-day project because there's no way I'm going back to storage again today and it can take time because I like to go through my summer clothes, get rid of anything that I didn't wear, put everything away nice and neat and organized so it can be a lengthy process but first a little replenishment. down that's 24 ounces however it's almost six o'clock <laughs> I'm not doing so great but I'm gonna try to get one more done before I go to bed tonight because that was my goal well I'd like to do even more I think if I make my goal that'll be good I've done everything I'm gonna do for clothes today I've still got more to do tomorrow but don't have any more time for that because I need to eat dinner and go shower, which I'm gonna do right now, so that, I think I told you earlier, we were gonna have a virtual date tonight, so gotta go get ready for that, and it's gonna be a watch party, party of two, maybe three if Duncan decides to jump in. Because we've watched things together in the past, but they're always like a second or two off, so we're gonna watch something on Amazon where we can watch party together and play it at exactly the same time, hopefully if all works right correctly so there you go hopefully when you see me next I'll be slightly more presentable after my shower but my hair won't be done or anything so time for our watch party hello can you hear me yes can you hear okay me? yes now I can hear you better all right I'm gonna hit play now and hope this works <laughs> a little rough but we had a good date night I enjoyed it 
finished my water other than a few like one sip I'll take before bed but I did it it was a challenge but I did it I still need to get better every day though and do at least that every day I don't know why it's so hard for me but it is as I was saying we had a good little virtual date night I do miss seeing him in person though as much as it's nice to be able to have that virtual connection, it's not the same as being with somebody in person. And I do miss him. I'm trying not to get emotional. Well, I got my buddy here. He's napping at the moment. And I don't know what's going on, why I feel like this. I've got plenty to keep me busy and keep me happy, but just gets lonely sometimes and I kind of feel that way right now but I know it's not forever and I'm just being sensitive why am I like this why am I such an emotional sensitive person sometimes sometimes I wish I was but I don't know how to be any other way. Anyway, good night. For you, it has been no time at all, but for me, it's been almost a week, I think. And I wanted to check in because I know when I stopped the vlog the last time, it was on a very downer, low note. And I'm doing better now. And I'm excited because it is Friday and James is on his way. And even though it was only last weekend that I didn't see him, it feels like it's been an eternity. So I'm very excited for him to come and to see him. I think I told you in the last vlog, or maybe it wasn't finalized, but unfortunately my aunt did have to cancel her trip. So that was a bummer. Hopefully we'll be able to make other plans to connect at some other point. But right now, I'm just going to get myself ready for him to arrive and probably talk to you tomorrow at some point. Good morning. It is Saturday. I'm at my hair appointment, getting a hair point or getting my hair done today at a hair appointment. Gosh, I can't even speak this morning. And of course, my battery's flashing and I didn't bring an extra, but that's what I'm up to this morning. Then I get to spend the afternoon with James, so it should be a good day. But this is the lovely, ever lovely before, and I will get the after for you. It might be on my phone, but yeah, that's what's happening today. It's a beautiful sunny day. I hope you're doing well. Let me know what you're up to this week, weekend, whenever you're watching this, most likely a weekend, because that's when I typically post. So yeah, let me know what's going on with you. And I'll check back with you in a bit. Hair's done. Feeling fresh. Now time to head home to James. It's Monday and also Halloween, hence my gigantic cat earrings. But my mom made them and I think they're rather fun and festive for today. And it's pretty much the only Halloween item I've got. So I'm rocking those today. And as you can see, I'm at work as to be expected. It's a pretty quiet Monday and don't have any Halloween plans tonight, but that's all right. I mainly came on because I think I'm going to end this vlog here. It's the end of the month. I feel like it's a good point to end things, but I would love your feedback. Let me know if you liked this sort of vlog where I kind of just randomly vlogged and picked up my camera when the mood struck me versus doing a vlog in just one week or one weekend. Let me know if you prefer one or the other or if you just like the vlogs in any form that they come. That feedback would be helpful. I will probably vlog more in November if I have the chance or if there's interesting things going on. Because to be honest, I'm a little bit stuck on what to do for videos coming up. I am currently on a pretty tight budget with wedding planning and just 
things being more expensive so I'm cutting back on anything that I have to purchase for videos so you may see even more vlogs who knows we'll see if I can make them interesting as it is I feel like this one was kind of all over the place I also know from here on out things are going to get quite busy as it always does in November and December but for good reason it's fun things so I'll be sharing all of that with you as well as best I can I know the thing I wanted to tell you. I couldn't think of it. It wasn't coming to me. I did find my wedding dress, so that is a nice thing that happened this month. Very exciting. Of course, I can't share it with you till the day. I am excited that I found it. Still have a lot of things to get figured out for the wedding, but we're working on it one thing at a time. It will all get figured out. Yes, that's all I have for you for now. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!